Hello people out there, this is NHRA 1975. It's March 11th, 2018, I'm just going to do a short update on uh, the, my fan install. So first of all, my friend did the um, did this piece here. And uh, yeah, it looks much better than what I had. And it's much lighter. And uh, so the fan shroud... I guess the, the radiator hold down slash fan, fan shroud holder is now in and uh, lighter, better looking. It's an improvement, big time. Uh, so that's in. Uh, the fans themselves, that's the dual Windstar fan setup. Um, I have, I'm going to have to abandon the Volvo Relay. Uh, simply because this is actually not a two-speed fan. The larger Windstar fan on this on this fan unit, for whatever reason, isn't two-speed. I went to the junkyard, got a connector from uh, Crown Victoria, and a lot of them will they will have the three prongs. And as you can see down there, maybe not so much, but it has three prongs in there. Pop that in and do a bench test and uh, both uh, both of the wires, either the blue or the orange, are the same speed. So there's no sense installing the Volvo relay and the and the BMW uh, just because, uh, well, it's not a two-speed fan. I was kind of hoping to do that because I'd collected everything, but I'm going to have to abandon that plan. Um, so... On the other side of the Windstar fan, the problem is this Dorelli or whatever you want to call the name brand here. D, uh, whatever, or D Rally. It fried. Uh, during, uh, I noticed it was starting to act up last year, at the end of last year. Like, for instance, the fan would switch on off or wouldn't switch at all. And then the, the fuse that was in here, it was really melted. It was melted well, well beyond I've ever seen a fuse melted. So that's an indicator that maybe the this thing got damaged or something. I tried to, like, if you put this on the very lowest setting, there's a little dial on there. It still doesn't turn on this fan. And I bench tested this fan. At first I thought this fan was going, but actually it does work. So... This thing is, uh, I think this unit's fried. It actually was a good performing unit, but I've read online these things are uh, not as reliable as you'd hope. And it wasn't cheap, so I'm going to have to figure out what I might do. Just run a, uh, like even have one here. Just run a relay switch deal directly off that one. I think they're, uh, I have one somewhere here left over. Where is it? Yeah, that's this thing here. So something like that. And it's, it's 30 amp, which I'm not too keen on, but it worked well with this one. So the smaller fan, what I might do is have that off the relay, and then I'm going to get a separate one for this larger fan and have a something. I think it's Hayden 7353, or I'll have to look at the number again. But I'm going to run probably a, a separate fan control unit off this. Um, this it's a mechanical one, so a lot of these digital things I've read that people aren't happy with them, they fail. So this one's a it's a much cheaper unit, but it's it's more of a mechanically controlled unit. Uh, it's not as precise as uh, the digital, um, but it doesn't fail. So I'm, I'm probably going to run, try to get that Hayden unit and just run the fan control directly off that. And then uh, the other one a relay, and, and that's it. But I'm going to have to track one down. It might take a while, so we'll see. Other than that, though, you know, there's I've, I have, I'm just going to use this catch can setup I had uh, for your drag racing guys. You know, if there's an overflow uh, feature on your radiator at the track, it needs this catch can. So that's there. That was already existing. It's not as neat as I like it, but I'm not going to re-engineer all that. That's not really going to do much for me right now. And, you know, the larger fan doesn't go on the radiator as much as I like. It kind of is offset. I mean, this this uh, Windstar unit's a little wider than what I have for radiator, but 
that's still a really big fan and it pushes a lot of air so it's probably going to be sufficient and if there's a problem I'll just have the other fan there hooked on the relay uh, not temperature controlled and flick the switch and uh, you know what they say like flick the bic flick the bic and uh, that thing will go on and uh, make it okay cool this sucker down so I'm not going to overheat it but I think in the meantime I'll probably just start on removing the intake and cleaning up around here and uh, well uh, I've rambled on here for five minutes so talk to you later